Hello everybody and welcome to my third Microsoft Access tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the various data types. Um, so I'm going to go back into my customers table uh, and I'm going to click on design view um, and now the standard one for a number is a long integer, it will always start on a long integer. Um, an integer is a whole number so 1, 2, 3, 4, um, five um, and so on and so forth um, and uh, a you can't have fractions so you can't have 1.5 you can't have 2.5 um, you can't have 2.56 it's got to be a whole number um, so I've used it for customer ID because customer ID is always going to be a whole number but say we put in uh, customer um, age um, which might not necessarily be a whole number so if we put a number on it and then we put it as we can either put a single um, and that will be uh, a number with one decimal place or uh, you can have a double um, and then this is gives you lots of decimal places um, so Generally, if you've got a number with decimal points, put in a double. Um, and then you can also specify how many decimal places it has, actually has in here. So let's say we want to put it to two decimal places. Um, and then that's going to give you customer age. So if I save this, um, and then go back into my table, it's now giving me an extra um, field, which is customer age um, and I'm going to fill that in uh, so I am 23 point uh, I'm just going to guess it it's in two months um, so 23.76 ish um, it's 20th of December if any of you want to work out what what my actual age is um, and stick it in the comments um, but there you go, so you do, there we've got a, a decimal point in there. Um, you, you probably wouldn't want to actually put someone's age in, you probably wouldn't put their date of birth in um, and then calculate it as of when you do it. Um, but I guess you could have customer age as of sale. So um, that's just an example of how you use decimal points. Um, so let's go back into design view. The next one is text. Um, so the only thing I'd ever really change on here is the field size. The the maximum you can set is 255. So that's 255 characters. Um, so say if we set this to 5 characters, it's only going to let us do a maximum of 5 letters. Um, which we don't want for name. Um, generally, uh, I have to put name as about 32. Um, people don't really have names longer than that. Um, you don't want to have it too high because then it's going to be taking up more data than necessary because each record will, will take up that much data regardless of what information it's got in it. It's going to set that much aside. So you want to make it as small as you possibly can um, and then it also stops people from putting in uh, lengths that are too long. Um, so say you've got an account number uh, for a bank you don't want it to be longer than eight digits or if you've got a sort code you don't want it to be longer than six digits um, and things like that postcode you don't want to be any longer than seven digits um, or seven or eight digits um, so it's just, just common sense depending on what your field is um, if you want more than 255 so let's say we've got a uh, customer notes uh, and again with an underscore customer notes um, and then you can have a memo um, and then this can have a ridiculous number of data in it um, but just remember it takes up a lot of memory um, so try to avoid using memo whenever possible um, the next one we've got then so let's put in uh, customer date birth um, so this wants to be a date so let's go to date slash time um, and we'll put in you can choose a format of the date slash time so default one is the date and then the time um, and then you've got just dates and you've got just times as well um, so I'm going to put this in as just the date 
um, mainly because I don't know when I was born um, in, in terms of what time of the day. So um, if my mum's watching, if you can fill that in in the comments, then, then please do. Um, you'll notice sometimes this comes up and I'll ask you to update it. Um, so just update format. Um, so that's going to put in a short date. So that means we just have the date and we'll not have the time at all. Um, so if we go into um, our design view, um, if I put in my date of birth, so 20th slash 12 slash 1988, um, and then that's going to fill in there. Um, we've also got our notes where we can type whatever we want into. Um, um, and you'll see I can put in as much as I like there. Um, let's just get rid of that because I don't want that in there. So that's how you use date of birth. Uh, they go back into design view um, and let's say we've got customer uh, wage um, and then let's put in currency for this one um, and then you've got your uh, you've got a choice of uh, various uh, various uh, things in here um, so you can have it as just a number you can have it as uh, euros or pounds um, not actually sure how you get uh, dollars to come in um, if if any of you Americans watching know how to put dollars in instead of uh, pounds that'd be great if you could put it in the comments um, but that's how you put a currency in so let's go back into uh, our normal view go across so we've got wage over here um, so let's say uh, one uh, zero 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 zero. Um, not how much I earn. I wish I did so a million pounds. Uh, that'd be great. Um, but uh, that's just an example. So that's putting it in as a currency for you there, um, and it will just always put it in in that format for you. So you know you're working with a currency. Um, and then the only last one you've got is uh, a boolean value so let's say uh, customer and then uh, mail or we can have a uh, customer gender and then you can have a yes slash no um, and you can have you can only have true or false yes slash no so on slash off so let's have true slash false um, and instead of using gender let's have uh, registered so you put customer registered as yes slash no and then we can select from here true false yes no on off um, I'm going to have on off um, and then when you go into your view um, you notice then that you've just got a tick box in there instead and you can just tick it to say whether it's true or false so that's quite a useful one um, it's a very straightforward way of filling it out um, and then one that people use quite often is just an auto number so rather than having a number up here you put in an auto number um, and uh, because I've got data it's not letting me do it so that's just um, delete my line of data design auto number save right so this is going to fill itself out now so I don't need to put anything in there so let's put my name as Matt and you'll notice that it's it's filled in a one let's put in a uh, Reese uh, that's going to be two uh, Sarah three and it's just going to put that in automatically for you so that's quite useful for giving you an ID um, I generally like to generate my own because um, I don't really like having it starting at one. Um, I like them all to have the same length. So I normally start on a thousand or a hundred thousand, depending on how many records I know I'm going to have eventually. Um, but then that's it. That's all the different data types. Um, if you've got any questions about data types, drop them in the comments below. And thanks for listening. And I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Um, when I'm going to show you how to create a linked table.